Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Mancor. Uh, I appreciate you guys continuing to share your comments and your and your journey. Uh, I'm loving hearing what uh, you guys are posting, and uh, it's been awesome to to kind of be there along the way as you're going through a couple of uh, challenges. Continue to share that stuff uh, and continue to uh, share the channel. If you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe to uh, the Main Core for future videos. For today's video, uh, we are going to talk about a somewhat difficult topic. It is the topic of rejection. So for me personally, um, I haven't always been the best with rejection, to be honest, uh, whether that was in relationships or for business, whatever the case may be, uh, friendships, you know, it doesn't matter any circumstance. I've always really internalized it and I've always really struggled with, uh, with rejection. So I thought of something today and uh, I don't know even if it fucking like makes sense or whatever, but it will help. And uh, it's been, you know, helping me kind of get over some, some recent rejections. Uh, to be honest with you, I've joined a couple of dating apps in the past month and man, uh, if you want a good litmus test about where you are uh, or where, you know, the world of, of dating apps is, just, you know, hop in there for a little bit. Uh, but there's a lesson here. So where I'm going with this is, you know, rejection is one of those things that's, uh, that's not easy to talk about, it's not easy to deal with, it's not easy to overcome. And it's really easy to get into a place of thinking that it has something to do with you or, you know, the kind of person you are or, you know, the kind of worker you are, the kind of friend you are, you know, the kind of potential you have. You know, it's really easy to go down that really long, deep, dark road of like, you know, trying to figure out what rejection is. And, you know, that's where I think a lot of us tend to go. Um, it's certainly where I go, you know, I, you know, I've internalized a lot of rejection and, um, taken just, I've just taken it too personally. And I've noticed as I've gotten older, uh, maybe it's partially age, but I've noticed as I got older that, uh, you know, looking back, a lot of that stuff was, uh, was all, you know, was all meant for a reason. And, you know, now looking back at all of them, I'm actually really thankful that uh, a lot of them have happened, whether that was because of, you know, a different direction I could have gone or a different company I could have worked for, or um, just, you know, a lot of other directions. I think I, I have a lot to be thankful for. And were it not for the rejections, uh, I would not uh, be grateful for them. So it's one of those things too, rejection that is not easy to really talk about, right? You know, I mean, if you're a guy, you kind of want to, you know, act, not act, but you kind of want to seem like you got your shit together. You can kind of have what you want and get what you want. But the reality is, it's just not how life works. So, um, you know, if you can, if you can learn to distance yourself from what you want emotionally, and where I'm going with that is, you know, a lot of those deep dark roads and those thinking that thinking really heavily into it or taking it personally i think those are all what i would classify as having attachments and you know i don't mean attachments like you're actually hooked to them i just mean that you're emotionally ta attached to them so you're 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 connecting it to some something about you or something about the validation that it can give you or something about you personally, and it's kind of an unhealthy way to look at it. It's okay to want things, but you know, there's an element of like patience and virtue that come along uh, in our lives, and you know, often they don't come along when we want them to. But uh, you know, it's just it's just part of life. So, how I've tried to really evaluate and look at rejection <clears throat> in the past two to three months is let's say for example i'm gonna go spiritual on you here so bear with me let's say for example that when you were born you were preordained or you were you were destined to have x amount of rejections maybe in business it was like 905 maybe in relationships it was like 238 maybe in friendships it was like you know 405 whatever the case may be those are just random numbers but 
Let's say we all have our own number of rejections that we have to face in life. Now, for every one of us, that's going to be different. And some of us are going to get there before others. And some of us are going to achieve success, uh, date the kind of person or marry the kind of person they want, have the kind of life that they want. Um, and some of us are going to get there sooner. Well, you know, the thing is, is that we all do eventually get there if we apply, you know, or put our best foot forward. So some of us may get there earlier, some of us may get there later. But you have to get through the no's to get to the yeses. And I think, you know, the no's is where you learn a lot more about yourself, a lot more about who you are, about more, a lot more about looking internally um, and taking inventory on, on, you know, either what it is that you want or taking inventory on yourself. So instead of taking it personally, maybe you're just getting through all the 404 friendship rejections before you get to the one that's like fucking awesome. Or maybe you get through like the 200 chicks that like turn you down and you know, you're on to 201 and you just meet like the girl that just knocks your fucking socks off. You know, I, I think that we're all destined to have a certain amount of rejections. We don't always get what we want when we want it. And that's part of life. And that teaches us patience and that teaches us how to earn and that teaches us how to be disciplined and how to work for what we want. That's just, you know, that's the way that things are. And for some of us, it happens earlier than later. But, you know, if you're watching this and you're struggling with rejection, know that it's not something that you're alone in facing. We all face it and you can't take it personally. If you go up and, and you approach a girl and ask her out uh, and she shoots you down, like you have to consider that a win. I almost get to a place now where I like celebrate that because maybe that's the 199th girl and the 201st is the one that's like gonna be awesome, right? So, you know, most of the time it doesn't have anything even to do with you. If it's something to do with a relationship, you don't know what's going on with her. If it's something to do in business, you don't know what's going on with the business. If it's financial, if it's operational, if it's, you know, executive, you don't know, you don't even know the details of it. Um, and you don't know what's going on with that friend either. You know, maybe reject, we should be looking at rejection as something of a higher power that is saying, Hey, this is not for you. And you know, this is really, this is really somebody else's way of, of, of sending you in a different direction. That is where you are destined to go. It's where you should go. And that the place that you're you're currently or at presently being rejected from is not where you should be. So try to look at them as wins. I know that that's super tough and I struggle with it too. You're not alone there. It's brutal. I work in sales. I get told no all the time, all the time. It's fucking brutal. But you know, the one time or the, the occasional time that you do get to the yes, you like, it feels awesome. You're grateful for it. And that's because you've been building a lot of grit, a lot of determination, and you just become used to it. Like, you know, you just, especially if you know who you are, uh, you just don't, you don't really give a shit. It's not really what other people think of you or you don't really care. Um, I'm getting to the place now where like, if I get shot down in front of a girl or if I get shot down in front of a client, like, okay, like the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. It's really not anything I can control. And the more that you are okay with that, and the more that you are okay with losing those attachments, it, it seems, and this is just from my own experience, it seems like when you let go of what it is that you want, it tends to show up, right? So take for example that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you two examples. So we, most guys, we've had this happen. You, you know, you're single for a long time, you haven't been dating anybody, like you're just, Everywhere you look, it's just constant relationships and just, you know, the neighbor's got a girlfriend, you know, your uncle's got a girlfriend, your dad's maybe got a new wife, whatever the case may be. And you just can't, you can't even get a date. Like we've all been there and everywhere you're looking, that's what's going on. Well, suddenly you do land a date and, or you do meet some girl that's, you know, she's pretty keen on you and you guys start, you know, dating or hanging out or whatever. And pretty soon, all the exes start calling, all the girls start messaging, you're getting looks at work, you're getting looks at the mall, you're getting looks at work. It's not that that stuff wasn't there before, it's just that you've let go of your attachment to having some kind of desired outcome. Now, 
you know, another example is let's say that you want a, you know, a new Mercedes. Okay. So you're driving in your sedan, whatever you drive, maybe it's a, you know, a Jeep, maybe it's whatever it is, but you really want a Mercedes and you know, you're five, six, seven months a year and you're just driving around and you're like, God, I don't want a Mercedes. I want a Mercedes. And you just like fantasize over it. Right? Well, then you go and buy the Mercedes and then when you drive home from the dealership and then for the next week, they're fucking everywhere. Okay. It's not that they weren't there before. It's just that you've lost your attachment to not having it. So when you do get to that point, all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're more inclined to notice it. So try your best to, to, to lose your attachments to things and to know that you know, there's a better outcome and there's a better direction for you. I know it's super hard and nowhere is it harder than in relationships, but you know, it's not something that you're alone in facing and there's nothing wrong with you. I mean, you're perfectly fine. Um, there's just something that is calling to you from your future that you just don't know what it is yet. So hang in there, be strong and know that, you know, you could be just one rejection away from the next girl that knocks your socks off or the next job that just, you know, pays you out the ass or, you know, the next friend that is, you know, a, a total gift. Um, that's all I had for today. But, um, you know, thank you again for sharing your comments. Please like the video, share the video, and please do share the channel with anybody that you think would be a good member to the main core community. I look forward to seeing you on the next video, fellas. Thank you so much. Have a great night.